All right, so you got past the hard part, you got her number, she gave it to you, and you're ready to call, but you're a little bit nervous because you wanna make a great first impression. Well, today I'm gonna give you 10 tips for knocking her socks off. Hi everybody, my name is Yancy. Welcome to my channel, Chasing Yancy. My mission here is to bridge the communication gap between men and women because I think that we really have a lot more in common than we think. A lot of times we just don't understand each other. So if this is the type of content you would like to have, stick around, hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell if you would like to be notified every time I drop some new content. All right, so let's get into today's topic. How to make a good first impression. I cannot tell you how many times I have seen a guy, he's really cute, I'm attracted to him, everything seems great, we exchange numbers, and then wah, wah, wah. So, I have a disclaimer that I have to give out. This is absolutely crucial. None of this advice works if she's not attracted to you from jump, okay? We cannot ignore physical attraction. You gotta have that spark, you gotta have that chemistry. This is for that guy who already has that box checked, now he just wants to make sure he reels her in and keeps her right where he wants her. All right, let's kick this thing off with number one. Be consistent with communication. You don't ever want a woman to wonder if you're still interested. Women look for emotional security. They like security overall, but a big part of that is emotional security. They want to know that they are wanted. So make sure you don't let too much time lapse before you reach out, even if it's just a little text to say, hey, you're on my mind. You don't know how many guys are out there vying for her attention. If you let too much time pass, at least in the initial stages, she might think you're not interested and start to warm up to someone new. Now, here's the key. I'm different than some other women that I talk to. Some women I know, they only want to be texted. For me, I prefer to be called. I like to hear the cadence in your voice, the nuances, the nonverbal communication that you can see over FaceTime. But some women say they really prefer text. So what's the solution? Just come straight out and ask. The more candid you are with her, the more endeared she will be to you. You can say something as simple as, hey, I'm really, really interested in you, but I really want to respect your time. I know everybody is different. What do you prefer? And you can let her tell you, hey, I like to be texted, or I like to be called, or I like to talk in the morning, or I like to talk in the evening. This will score you some extra bonus points because you're being considerate. Number two, don't go for perfection, go for authenticity. So many guys try to be perfect. They will literally think of things to say. They want everything to just go smoothly. And a lot of times with women, we're just big on energy. So you might have painted the perfect scene. You might have said the perfect thing. But if you feel plastic, you don't feel real. And no one wants something that's artificial. Be authentic. If you're a little bit nervous, it's kind of okay to talk about that. Just say, you know, Man, I was a little nervous to talk to you, but I'm so glad that I have you on the phone now. What have you. Now, I'm gonna get into confidence in a little while, so take that one with a little asterisk next to it, but show your humanity, okay? Show your humanity, and that's with anything. People like to relate to others that seem human. Nobody wants that person who seems so artificially perfect because they don't seem human. Number three, be confident. And this is something I wrote a lot about in my book. Shameless plug, I have a book available now called Why Women Love Assholes. Make sure you snag a copy from my online store. But anyway, I go into depth about the psychology behind why women like assholes. Uh, but it explains the psychology and part of it is confidence. There is something intoxicating about confidence. And the reason why is because I mentioned before, women like to feel secure and part of emotional security is being with someone who is secure himself. Now, the point that I'm making here is that you should be confident, but never brag. Oh, it is such a turnoff when men brag about what they have, the materialistic things that they have, who they have been with in the past, name dropping, 
It's just not a good look. Overall, nobody likes a bragger. So fellas, if you're really excited about the fact that you make a lot of money, she'll figure it out pretty quickly, all right? She'll see the type of car that you drive over time. She'll see your house eventually. She'll see your, your jewelry or the places you can take her. You don't have to work it into the conversation, all right? You wanna lead with who you are and let those other things just be extra bonuses. Number four, be very complimentary. Women like to be cherished and adored. They want to know that they're beautiful. Why do you think that there are so many commercials about beauty and being desired and what you can do to be desired? Women want to know that he's checking for her, but don't be a creep. I would say use the 80-20 rule. 20% of your compliments could be on her sex appeal and her physical look, but let the other 80% be about who she is as a person. She doesn't want to be put into a little tiny box and just be seen as a piece of meat. But she also wants to know that she's desired sexually. So I know guys, we're complicated creatures, but give it the 80-20 rule. You don't want to always be talking about that kadonk kadonk she's dragging around. Let her know that you're into her personality as well. Number five, smile. <laughs> smile. It's so funny because I did a video a while back reviewing dating app bios and it's so crazy what men post i know that they think that women like the mean mug because a lot of guys do it i'm assuming they think it looks macho and you know manly to look serious and have the scowl on their face but who wants to be with a mean man we want to see that warm inviting face we also want to see your teeth <laughs> let's just be honest but smile if you guys are in person if you guys are video chatting smile and guess what we can hear it when you're talking just over the phone as well it just makes you seem more personable more kind and and someone that she's going to want to get close to a lot of times if you're deep in thought you might be frowning and making these faces so every now and then look in the mirror and kind of see your expressions and see how you you get we've all heard of resting bitch face but make sure that you don't have a scary looking face as well don't just tell her that you're interested in her. Show her with your facial expressions. Number six, this is a big one and this rule is broken so often from my personal experience. Show you're interested in her by asking her questions. My God, if you have to write them down ahead of time, that's fine. But don't just say, what are you doing? What are you up to? How has your day been? How did you sleep? What you wanna do is you wanna build, okay? You wanna put some building blocks down. At the beginning, that's fine to ask, you know, how was your day? I'm not saying don't ever ask that, but I'm just saying at the beginning, you're limited to small talk because you just don't know her. But as you get to know her, reference something from a previous conversation. So she says that she's been studying for an exam, ask her how it went. If she tells you that she was working on a project, ask her how it's going. Show that she is somebody that you're interested in getting to know. Ask her about her childhood. Ask her about her dreams. Ask her about her hopes. Ask her about the things that she didn't like about her last relationships. Ask her about the stuff that she's looking forward to doing with you. Just get outside of the what did you eat, what are you doing, and how did you sleep black hole. <laughs> Number seven, and I hope to teach people this with my channel, but Help her get to know you by being a little bit vulnerable, okay? Now, you wanna be confident, you wanna be sweet, you wanna be kind, you wanna be consistent, but you also want to be a human. Show her your vulnerable side. Now, here's what it is. I think a lot of times guys are like, I don't wanna look soft. But when you show her your softer side, it's a compliment to her because what it says is, I trust you enough with my emotions that I'm gonna open up to you. So if you're nervous about something, if you're excited about something, if you are, I don't know, just upset, if you're upset, maybe you're disappointed in something, express that. We don't have to walk around like robots. Again, this is what endears us to each other. It's that vulnerability and showing our humanity. Time for another shameless plug. I'm gonna promote my gear. Check this out. I am wearing Believe, one of the first t-shirts in my line. If you haven't scooped up some merch, visit my store, chasingyancy.com forward slash shop, and you can grab your apparel today. All right, back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> Number eight, ask her out right away. 
okay? Don't dink around, get to it. If you're long distance, don't take forever to book that flight. Show her that you're interested. There are countless men who sit there and act like pen pals. And again, you know, use wisdom. Ask her if that's something that she's interested in, but let her know that you're interested. The worst case scenario, she could say she wants to see you too, but she wants to wait a little while. The thing is, is that women want you to take the lead. They want you to take the lead. It's the same thing with physical interaction. You can let her know that you think she's sexy and that you are super ready for physical when she's ready, but a gentleman lets her choose the time. But the point is, is that you took the lead. You let her know that she's desired, but then you let her be comfortable and set the pace. It's the same thing here. Let her know you want to see her. And I'm gonna give you guys a bonus tip at the end, so make sure you stick around. Number nine, do not challenge her, okay? Now, the reason why I say this is because if you listen to, well, I say listen because I listen to audiobooks. If you've read the book, The Way of a Superior Man, it will break down the fact that men like challenges, women don't. Challenges push women away. So if you try to be too aggressive, if you challenge her and try to change her, that is often going to blow up in your face and backfire. The best thing to do is lead by example. And this is for everybody in life. Most people, especially adults, don't want to be told what to do. They can be shown a better way. Show them what you like and hopefully she'll take the hint. All right, the last thing before my bonus tip is to be assertive, but always leave some wiggle room. What do I mean by that? It's the same thing kind of I mentioned before about taking the lead, let her know she's desired, but let her choose the time. It's, it's along that vein. I'll give you a couple of examples to make it make sense. You let the woman know you're interested, but then you say, hey, here's my number. Let me know if the interest is mutual and walk away. Not dramatically. I'm just, I, I'm saying don't make her answer on the spot. <laughs> The reason why this is important is because there are a lot of situations when a woman gives her number just to be nice or to get out of a potentially awkward situation. Unfortunately, there have been times where men resort to violence or vicious verbal attacks when they get a no from a woman. So there are many, many cases where women will give their number because they're under duress or they at least feel like they're under duress. So because I'm doing this video for men, men, I don't want you to be a victim of that. I don't want you to be spinning your wheels with the wrong woman. It's very important that you get the signs right away that she's interested. And that's also another video that I'm going to be doing uh, very shortly, how to know she's interested, how to gauge her interest. Um, but this is done so that you don't get hurt or at least minimize your hurt. Another example of being assertive, but leaving wiggle room is to say, I want to see you. That's being assertive. You're letting her know you want to see her. But the wiggle room says, when are you going to be free? So she can give you whatever day works for her. This is different than saying, I want to see you on Saturday. It's all or nothing. This is a really good way to show her that you are respectful of her time and you're considerate of her schedule. But remember, always ask her preference. A lot of times we don't take that time to really see how people like stuff. And there's a lot of guessing. There's a lot of trying to read between the lines and it's just not necessary. We're all adults here. Just talk about it up front. Ask what she needs to know so that you can do the thing that works best for her. Now I haven't forgotten. I said that I was going to give you a bonus tip and I will. I just want to let you know beforehand that I have an online community called the Sunshine Club. It has been amazing. Right now we're in the middle of a 30 day challenge and it is awesome because we encourage each other. We're trying to reach the best version of ourselves, and a lot of times it's really helpful when you have a community helping to cheer you on. So if that's something that you're interested, jump on down to the description, click the link there that says the Sunshine Club and we will welcome you with open arms. But back to the bonus tip, bow out gracefully. We, I say we, not just men, we all need to understand that we are not gonna all be matches with other people, okay? We are not a one size fit all, we are individuals. And the reason why I think it's so difficult for people in dating is because people make it so socially awkward. It's the same reason why a lot of women give their phone number under duress. It's because there are a lot of men who don't take no gracefully. 
It is so refreshing when I first meet somebody and we have that first conversation to kind of see if we vibe and I'm not feeling it and I could say, you know what, person, insert person's name here, I'm just not feeling it, but it was so great getting to know you and he's gracious and he says, no problem, it was so much fun talking with you, I wish you well, I wish you all the best. Oh, that is the dream situation. But I'm telling you, there are people who are so cringy that they ruin it for everyone else. There are guys out there who will literally call a woman right in front of her just to prove that it's the right number because they've been given the wrong number so many times. But fellas, that should be a tip. If you repeatedly get wrong numbers, you might need to rethink your strategy. You might need to look inwardly and see if there's something that you're doing that is a problem for women. But sometimes there's nothing that you've done wrong. Sometimes it's just not a good fit. Sometimes that person maybe just rekindled something with an ex or maybe they met somebody new that they had a little bit more connection with. There is no reason to hang on. I described it like a person in those action movies where the, the bad guy is like hanging on to the edge of the cliff and the good guy is trying to like push the fingers off. It's like, go, just die already. Okay, metaphorically, I'm not saying die, but I'm just saying, just let the idea of dating that person die. Do it gracefully, do it respectfully. Let's just not make it a cringe-worthy situation. It's hard enough being candid with someone and telling them you're not interested, let alone having them cling on and beg and beg and beg for a second chance. All right, guys, that's all I have for you for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click that like button. If you want more content like that, smash that subscribe button and click the notification bell if you want to be alerted every time I drop content. Now on Sundays, I have a little bit different of a format. I do a live stream on Sunday nights and I invite a panel of some of my friends and we get in and we debate a lot of the hot topics that are going on. So make sure you stick around and check that out if you're interested. But guys, until next time, tell someone that you love them.